but let's do a quick check. Energy drink, check. The audio sounds good. I think we are ready to rock. What is going on everybody? Back with another one. Let's hop right into it. Just got back from the Thailand trip. If you haven't already, you can hop over to my other channel, Doreen Collective Experience, to check out the vlogs and all that good stuff. But on this channel, I wanna talk about the gear that I use on this trip and what gear do I use when I like to travel and just do my thing. This is a love-hate relationship with this lens 24 to 70. 24 is wide enough that I can really get immersive in the scene and 70 I can get real tight shots or if I want to really capture something that's at a distance I can get a pretty good zoom on it so it can really bring you in. The hate. This is a chunky chunky lens. Look at this guy. That's Right, if you need a comparison, right? Let's compare it to a C4 energy drink, right? And it's heavy, right? It's a very heavy lens, just a big old chunky lens, but that chunky lens, but that's what you're gonna expect anytime you deal with the zoom lens. It's always just gonna be big, it's gonna be heavy. As you start moving up to the price point, uh, they do use lighter parts, but for the most part, if you do use a zoom lens, it's gonna be heavy because you're dealing with a lot of moving internals, right? So you can't get away from it. The power zoom they came out with, it's a little bit lighter, it's a little bit more compact. Uh, I like that as well, but for the most part, you're always just gonna have to deal with a size. So you get a lot, but you have to give up a lot as well. So with this one, what I'm using right now, what I'm shooting on is an 18 millimeter. I can reach out and actually touch it if I wanted to. It's really super light, very much like a pancake type of lens. But when you're dealing with prime lenses, it's always gonna be smaller, it's gonna be lighter. But what's the downside? It's a prime, so you're only bound to that particular focal length. When I'm traveling, I don't know what I'm gonna be in, what type of situation I'm gonna have. So I like to have more versatility for my day. And I like to travel light as well. I usually bring one lens because my camera bag has GoPros, batteries, DJI actions, it has so many other things in there. So I usually just bring one lens if I have a choice. If I could bring more than one, I'm still gonna bring the 24 to 70, but then I'll probably bring like my 14 or I'll bring the 18 as well. But with the zoom lens, even though it's bulky, even though it's heavy, right, there's a ton, ton of things I could say that I don't like. What I do like about it far outweighs it. From the stills, from the video, I'm able to get some amazing shots that I probably wouldn't be able to get if I just carried just a bunch of prime lenses. And when you're traveling, depending on how much time you have, you don't wanna waste time trying to, you're scrambling, I need to grab this lens, let me get my bag, I wanna try to capture the moment, the moment's gonna be gone. I'd rather just have the camera with me, I got my zoom lens, and I can just adjust the focal length, capture the moment. Especially if you're a little bit pressed for time, and if you travel like me, I a lot of times don't have a real schedule. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna get into, I don't know what I'm gonna see, and I like that sort of spontaneity when I travel, right? You know, of course, you know, well, there's certain spots I'm definitely gonna hit depending on where I'm at, but for the most part, I try to have days where I'm just gonna let the universe take me, right? So I just wanna be ready. So with that, the 24 to 70 always comes in handy. They have other ones, there's like a, I think there's like a 14 to 24, that's kinda of cool. I like getting tight shots as well as, like if I'm doing a talking head piece, I'm doing like a vlog piece, the 24 comes in real handy. I like to bring it to like a 24 or maybe like a 35 depending on the scene. And then if I wanna capture some images that's a little bit further out, I can pull it all the way to a 70 and it's still able to get a great image. I don't lose much quality behind it. But that's what you're gonna get anytime you're dealing with the Sigma lens. Sigma's usually my go-to. If I'm not getting like a Sony lens, I'll go with Sigma next. And then if I have to have two, then I'll go with like a Sam Yang. But first I always like to go with a Sony lens, then Sigma, and then like a Sam Yang or like some other, other company. So quick video for you guys. This is a short one. I'm gonna be posting more on this channel. I'm gonna show you all the visuals that I got from this Thailand trip, how I shot it, what I shot, what I shot it on. Of course you know I shot on a Sony, but I got some other shots where it was shot on action cameras and it looked pretty good, it looked pretty good. So 
that's gonna be on its way as well. If you haven't already, go check out the vlog channel. Go check out the travel channel, The Ring Collective Experience, where pretty much I got something going on on that channel every week, giving you like a behind the scenes of what's going on with the traveling, what I'm doing out there, all that good stuff. All right, more videos are on the way. Let's